Hudson County TV went to Bayonne and spoke to Mayor Jimmy Davis about some important topics in the news that affect the town. The first was the deficit and possible tax hikes. It's a $24 million budget gap. It's a, it's a structural deficit, which means you know, we, we could sell a piece of property today, pay $24 million, but next January it comes back again. Um, it's a structural deficit that has been built into, uh, basically what it comes down to is the city doesn't bring in enough money to pay its bills. Reducing it and, and eventually getting rid of it is, is through development and redevelopment. Um, you take a piece of property that you're not generating tax dollars with now, um, you sell the property and somebody you know, puts up a building or puts up a business, now that generates tax dollars. So say you, you, you do a development that generates a million dollars in tax revenue, well now the $24 million structural deficit has just become $23 million because every year you're going to collect that million dollars in tax revenue. We won't fill the gap with, with uh, like a tax increase, but yes, we, we, we have to pay it. We have to pay it every year. Um, so it'll definitely be built into the budget. Um, you know, and that was one of the reasons why when we had the interview with the Jersey Journal, they had asked about a tax increase. Will there be a tax increase? And, and yes, the, you know, most likely will be a tax increase, um, but it, 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 it'll be a modest one. It's not going to be, you know, we're not, we're not going to shock anybody and, and, you know, blow it out of the water with a 5% or 4%, you know, tax increase. The next topic that was brought up was the settlement made between the state and Exxon. This was done entirely by the state without any input from Bayonne officials, even though the site was in their town. They, um, it was a lawsuit that the, the state brought up against Exxon back, I, I believe it was back in 2004. Um, they were suing for damages done to you know, property in Bayonne and also in Linden. Um, I, I think the original number they were seeking damages was $8.9 billion. Um, and the governor last week settled for two hundred and fifty million. Um, you know, we haven't. You know, nobody has corresponded with us from the state about this settlement. No one asked us our opinion on it. Um, it was just something that the state did. They did the settlement, and we're still trying to find out the details of everything. In Bayonne, I'm Ashley Bruno for Hudson County TV, where we're committed to you.